like not traditional. Okay, so we're going to use non traditional. Yeah. So we're like doing a non traditional interview, and you guys finally, Kimberly Jesse, the pink carpet goddess, is coming on the pink carpet. Yay! <laughs> this is so much fun, guys. I'm here with Sherry Johnson, and I'm at her house in Malibu, California, and we're having so much fun, as you can see, on the pink carpet. And I really love interviewing you because you make it so easy oh, to talk to you. And, and you know what? I really tell us some of the great marketing things. Even though your book can be found in Barnes and Nobles and all the places that legitimate books are found, tell us some of the non traditional, outrageous marketing that you're doing to get your book out there. Well, I figure everywhere I go, my book should go, right? <gasps> so it's in the trunk of my car. If you stop me, you can ask for books as long as I still have them. Saturday, I was actually out on Venice Beach slinging my books from a backpack. From a backpack? Yes, and I'll get you the picture because the police oh my actually stopped me and told me that I needed a permit. Who knew that you needed a permit to sell stuff Wait a minute. Venice Beach? Mm -hmm. Venice Beach police stopped you and told you that you needed a permit? I'm sorry. I sell things all the time, and then I don't have a permit. I had no idea that I needed a permit. I mean, they're selling illegal marijuana. Why? On the right right on the, the side there. Car. And they're saying, you know, legalize marijuana. All I'm doing is slanging a book. But it was cool because the cop ended up buying one. Oh, <laughs> how does that work? I mean, only Sherry Johnson, the strawberry. No, the cherry. The cherry Johnson. It's the cherry. <laughs> Literally, she threw that cherry charm on him. Yeah. Oh my god, you have cherries on your refrigerator too. <laughs> I know, I'm retarded. <laughs> We're retarded today. <laughs> Very, I'm, I'm just having fun. And this is so much fun. Like being with my friend on the pink carpet. Yeah. And diamonds yes, and glamour. and glamour, and look at the glitter and the pink. And, you know, we're celebrating the 80s. So, you know, we're showing you Wonder Woman bracelet. Oh, I have my Wonder Woman bracelet. Yeah, she has her Wonder Woman bracelet. She's got Wonder Wonder Madonna. Yeah, and she's, she's going to wear a Kim Pyre, she's gonna wear a Kim Pyre t shirt at some point. Yes. Put it on in a minute. So tell us, where are you going to be next? Where are you going to be next marketing your book? Should, could you be like on any beach? I could be Should on any beach. I could be you? at any park. You can often find me somewhere driving down Ventura Boulevard because I am Valley Bound as well as PCH. Oh, so should we call you the roaming celebrity <laughs> author? <laughs> that would work. I'll also be in Houston soon. October 15th, I'll be in Houston for the weekend oh. selling my books, having a party. Have you had your major book signing here in LA yet? I did. My book um, actually came out the day of the Black Book Expo. Wow. So my first book signing was at the Black Book Expo, which was wonderful because there were so many other people there that I admire and that I love. And I bet you they were at your table buying your book. They were. So you made a lot, you, I mean, I'm sure you made a lot of money out so far. The director of the Black Book Expo came up to me and told me congratulations. And my publisher told me that I outsold everybody else at the Black Book Expo. Talking about some really celebritypreneur power here. Now, you know you're an official celebritypreneur. Oh, Let I me give you pink carpet celebrities Please. definition of a pink carpet celebritypreneur, celebritypreneur. Even though you're a bigger celebrity than I am, right? Well, you are, because I'm coming, folks. Trust me. You see what's happening here. I'm coming. But anyway, she's like a huge celebritypreneur. You know why? What I love about you is that you're not afraid to take charge and mind your business. You're minding your business, Sherry. If I don't take charge and mind my own business, how can I expect someone else to? I can't ask my publisher to do something that I'm not willing to do. You hear that? I mean, yes, he has my books in Barnes and Nobles. I'm available at um, Borders. I'm available at Books A Million, Walmart, and Target. But if those places are carrying my books, why should I be afraid to carry my book around mm. too and say, hey, $15, no tax, what's that? Wow. Oh, I shouldn't have said Ooh, that. That's okay, we're gonna IRS. <laughs> We never said that. We're playing around on camera, so don't take it serious. Entertainment. entertainment. Yeah, entertainment. That's what I mean. Yeah, this is celebrity entertainment. You know, Hollywood, the land of make-believe. So there you have that. But I was at Lamarck Park yesterday and Magic Johnson's Friday. <gasps> Ooh. With a backpack on. With a backpack on. Do you hear that, folks? All day. Adidas backpack, baby. Full of around the world twice. So, around the world twice. Now, you know what I really love, and you know, I'm really struggling and really trying not to copy you, but you know, you just cannot have someone that's standing on the world with her high heel stiletto on the Hollywood sign. That's just not fair. I should have had that. I should have thought of that. That's not fair. Well, why don't you just do a play on it? As long as you give, you know. So can I do like a can I do like um a pink world with bling for the cities for I, the countries? Absolutely. Why not? Every you hear that? Kim Fire World. Every country you conquer, baby, take it. Every country. Do you hear that? So you know we're we're celebritizing and entrepreneuring right now. Do you take hear it, that? Claim it, name it. Exactly. So now you're going to Houston next. Yes. What other events do you have signed up for your books? How can we get a hold of your books right now if we want to buy one? Amazon.com is the best way, or find me on Twitter or Facebook and see where I'll be. I always announce where I'm going. It's Twitter, 
dot com backslash Cherry Johnson 75. Make sure that 75 is behind my name because if it ain't there, it ain't me. It it's ain't a her. Fake page, okay? Yeah, I got duped, folks, just so you know. I got duped, hoodwinged, and swingled, and scammed, and frauded. <laughs> I went on Facebook to find her, and there was this page there, and I thought that it was her because it had a lot of people, and I went and I became a member of the page, and I liked it. And that's when I became a victim, a victim of fraud, embezzlement, as well as false identity. And upon talking to Sherry, she notified me that I had been hoodwinked, yeah. and we're now friends on Facebook. So if it doesn't have the 75, it's not her. <laughs> and Facebook's thief, keep up the good work. We're she, watching you. She actually was like, why are you not hitting me back? I said, you hit me right here. <laughs> I know you hit me. And then I was like, oh my God, you hit Sherry Johnson. Yeah, it's my face. Yeah. And yeah, it's my name. But no. It's, it's it, not me. Yeah, it's not her. So it has to say 75. Now, I can't promise you that you'll get in. But I am telling you how to get there, okay? Oh, yeah, and if you look, I post, you know, like I said, I'm going to the Crenshaw Mall yesterday. How was that experience? An experience. But I can say when I left, I did not have one book. So, a good experience. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. So, should we say hustler or should we just keep the word celebritypreneur? I like celebritypreneur. Yeah, I think but, I do too. But, I'm from Pittsburgh, I'm from Duquesne. Hustler's kind of cute, too. Hustler's kind of cute, too, but you are a celebrity, and you are entrepreneuring, so you've taken the world of your influence as a celebrity, and you took your book, you took the bull by the horns, and you said, even though I have all these systems in place, I'm still going to take the extra steps necessary to make sure that I meet my quota. So her way of making her sales calls is she goes out with a backpack to different malls, beaches, and areas, and she markets her books. What are you doing today to market your business? Because I'm doing my business right now. I'm living my dream. I'm here on my pink carpet in Malibu with Cherry Johnson with my backdrop. I'm living my dream. This is what I do for a living. What are you doing for a living? And you can find out what Sherry's doing for a living by reading her book, watching her movie, and just watching her fly. And you know what? You should take notes. Don't take notes from people that are not successful. You want, you're want you given an opportunity and you call five of your broker's friends to ask them, is it a good opportunity? When you really have the, the you know, the, the, the strategies and the people in front of you, i.e. Cherry Johnson, oh. that can really help you with that. So, and I'm going to go to her film school. So is there anything else you want our people to know or the world to know? Yes. I really want people to know, take time to read. I was just named the national spokesperson of a literary campaign. Oh my and gosh. I'm embarrassed to say that I stopped tons and tons of people on Venice Beach on Saturday and I was asking people, excuse me, do you read? Excuse me, do you read? I said, not just my book. If you don't want to buy my book, that's fine, but do you read? Tons of people actually came out and said no. Wow, do you hear that? That will no. tell, tell you a lot about our country and the state that we're in. If you're not reading, how do you know who to vote for? What well, they're, wa they're watching TV. Now, I hate to say this <laughs> because TV is my livelihood, <laughs> but don't believe anything you see on TV, nothing that you read in the gospel. Oh, you want, you, you want to hear something funny? You want to hear something funny? You want to look at I did a gig on a show called Operation Repo where I was friends with the guys and we were all in the military and we faked like my car was being repossessed. I come from a town where there's a lot of crab mentality. Yes, you guys know who I'm talking to. Mm -mm. And they spread that video like wild fire, wild fire. Happy that when they thought my car was repossessed it's on a, television. It's a check. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a check. check. It's, it's a check. TV. It's, it's entertainment. Fun. I laughed all the way to the bank, but you know what? I've posted so many videos of me interviewing celebrities. They've not said one word or passed that video around, but they passed around the video of the, when they thought my car was repossessed. So that's that says a lot about people yeah. and the belief on TV. Think about it. Nobody even thought about me until Media Takeout decided to take my film, I Do, I Did, and say that I did porno. Wow. Once they said that I did porno, I got 500 thousand hits in one day of people who wanted to see me do porno and then I thought about it at first I was upset my feelings were hurt my phone was ringing over and over again by a bunch of people who I've now learned are not my friends exactly they to make fun of me oh they get real quiet with my stuff on Facebook they get real you could just feel it breathing through the page it's oh, unbelievable yeah. they don't call and say hey congratulations no and no they don't they won't say that no they won't say god you're doing great things but they'll be happy to you know to yeah know that I did porn but they yeah. don't talk about it <laughs> 500,000 people in one day at $10 a pop, who's the fool, me or them? Um, Maybe. that's like what, 5 million? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have pulled a Kardashian. Maybe. Maybe, folks. You would have, yeah, you would have been, you would have been 5 million deep.
right, right now. Off of a little corn. Off a little corn, just a little bit. I do it for free when I get paid. Right, I exactly. Right, right. So we're in Hollywood, folks. We live this life. Don't believe everything you see on TV. Remember, just copy Public Enemy. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> none of it. None of it. Nothing you read. I mean, nothing you read on the internet is true. There's tons of rumors on yes, the internet. Yes, tons. Nothing you see on TV is true. I'm sorry, but Colgate is not necessarily better than Crest. Right. It's a marketing campaign. And we do have nice teeth. <laughs> So what else do you want people to know? Because we're going to go on to the next phase of this wonderful interview. About two times a year, I put out a straight-to-DVD independent film. Look out for me. I'm producing. If you don't see my face, it's okay. It doesn't mean I've gone anywhere. Read the credits. Read. 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 <gasps> you might know what I'm doing. See? Again, read. This is Kimberly Jesse reporting in live from the paint carpet in Malibu, California today with none other than the fabulous Miss Cherry Johnson talking about her fantabulous book and her fantabulous producing and her fantabulous life. So stay tuned, folks, because we have more coming on a paint carpet near you. Hey. Thank you. You're too cute. Okay, so we're going to like.